a win is a win. A win is a win. And you know, the thing about this Senegal thing is now look, shout out to my to my night night Nigeria brother Adnan. Tomorrow we ride, Egypt. Tomorrow we ride. Um so obviously they were they were missing a few guys obviously due to, to COVID. Uh, Mendy, Sa, Kulibali, and Didihui. Um but so obviously they were missing a lot of key guys who I think would have definitely helped them. Specifically, I think specifically in the outfield, Sa. You know. But I think even if they had those guys, there's some look, see, Kulibali, Mendy, these are the defensive guys. And Zimbabwe when, when, when they were never scoring. Like the Zimbabwe when they were never scoring. And that was my issue with Senegal. It's like it's very nice play, nice approach play. Everyone looks good. The guys know how to control the ball. There's, there's, there's good organization, but there's just a lack of a cutting edge. There's just that lack of a cutting edge. And my question for Senegal is when things get hot, you get to a quarter or a semi, if you even get there, or even a final, do you have that guy that can say what's up? Because and that is where money comes in. Like Senegal, the games are going to be close. And when you come to those close games, can your star guy say, yo, I can live, I can ride, I can say what's up? So that was all of my, my, my question for Senegal. So that's why I say, I'm not putting money on Senegal saying what's up. I don't think they will. If I think they can get far, they will always be difficult to be. But, eh, like, okay, look, I think Zimbabwe, they're not really doing, doing much. You know, like, I don't think Zimbabwe have never really been a team. They're, 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 they're decent. But they're not, they're not going to cause any of the big guys any issues. So, one, look, see, my thing is this is that it doesn't matter how you win, just long, long, as long as you win. So, it's like, because this isn't like a league table where it's like GD, like Senegal, like, it's right. Just win all your games, go through and progress. So, whether it was 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, penalty, it doesn't matter. But I think for the coach, um, Ali Sisi, I think what I think he wants from these guys is. Take your game to the next level. And that's what... And that's... His, so, I have a question for Senegal. Can you take that game to the next level? Like, look, this way is Zimbabwe. You had most of the possession. You controlled the, the game fully. So, this was really about patience and just trying to break them down. And break down what was actually a very um, resolute Zimbabwe guys. And look, Zimbabwe, look, obviously, they were... But they're feeling injuries. But obviously, home by now gets 97 minutes per penalty. So, eh... Look, end of the, the day, man... Um. Let's see. There's a long... Remember, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Well, it's not a marathon in the sense of a league, but you need to build onto it because there are several games to go and there's a really long story to go. So, but look, at the end of the day, points on the board. Hopefully, when they get their full crew back and everything, then we can see what these guys can do at their full potential. But the question is, can Senegal go that one step further from beating, beating finalists um, against Algeria? Like, subscribe, stay tuned for more AFCON discussions. Peace.